Let us now look at question two from November 2022. Question two is basically Newton's second laws or just Newton's laws. So let us look at our questions here and see how we can best answer these questions. All right, question two, it says that create, create P of mass 1,25 Whenever you see mass, you know that any object that has mass must have Fg. So you have your one or your first force here, which is Fg. The mass is given as 1,25 kg. It's connected to another crate of mass 2 kg. So I have another what here? Fg. Now, by a light indistinguishable string, the two crates are placed on a raft. Once you see raft, you know that you have what? You have friction so we have friction there on a what on a horizontal surface once i see horizontal or in fact surface i know that i have what i have normal force so i have my forces already now it says a constant force of magnitude 7,5 i am given the force acting at an angle to the horizontal is applied to what to only create q as shown in the diagram below I'll show you the diagram just now. However, the crates accelerate at what? At 0 0,1 meter per second to the right. So we are given the acceleration and we are given the what? We are given the direction. All right. So now we then move to the diagram. This is my block here, which is block P1,25. There's a string here. There must be what? There must be tension. And therefore, the force that is applied is only applied where? On the Q block. On the 2 kg block let us then look at what the question is asking us to do here it says that create p create p experiences a what a frictional force of 1,8 and create q has a force of what of 2,2 all right 2.1 we are tasked to state newton's second law of motion in words as you can see on your screen i have written it down for you it states that when a net force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the force. You must then speak about the relationship between acceleration and force and acceleration and what? And the mass. It says that the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to what? To the mass of the object. That's how you get what? You get your two marks. Let us move to the next question now, which is 2.2. Let us now look at 2.2. 2.2, we are tasked to draw a free body diagram for crate P. So free body diagram here, we need to make sure that we get full four marks. Free body diagram, free marks body diagram. Let us then look at what? At crate P and see if we can take something from that um, diagram. Now, this is block P or crate P. Crate P now, we can see that the first force that we have here is what? It's Fg. What opposes that is what? It's normal force. Now, we have tension this side, which is T. We had frictional force always opposes the motion, and this, this system is going to the right. So, Fk will be going to the left. So, you just take what you have drawn there, and come and place it this side. But remember that there's a difference between free body diagram and a force diagram. So a free body diagram, you just have to have your dot there and indicate all the forces that are there. The first one is Fg. What opposes that is what is? It's Fn, and therefore we had tension going to the right. What opposes the motion now is what is? It's Fk frictional force. That's how you get full four marks. Don't forget to indicate direction in the exam as well. Don't just draw lines, but you must draw lines with arrows because a force is a what is a vector quantity. All right, we now look at 2.3.1. We are calculating the magnitude of the what of the tension. Magnitude of tension. Only we're told here that the system is going to the right. So let us focus on what? On block P, because block P, we know what? We know the free body diagram. So we can use what? We can use Newton's second law, F net, equal to what? Equal to MA. How many forces are acting on block P? 
we have identified tension and what and fk so we can say tension plus but remember that fk is opposing the motion so it's going to be minus what minus fk and then equal to what equal to ma we are looking for tension so this becomes positive we don't know tension but we are given the value of what of fk we can just verify the value of fk for which block for block p for block P, the value of FK for block P is what is 1,8. So we can just add 1,8. We can just add 1,8. So it's minus 1,8, which will be equal to the mass of block P is 1,25. We were also given the acceleration as what as 0, 0,1, which is going to the right. So positive is fine because I am choosing right as what as positive. And therefore, from here now, we can then use our calculator to find the answer. So T minus 1,8. If we go to our calculator, we then say, if we go to our calculator, we then say in our calculator, what do we have here? We have, we have 1,25, 1,25. So it's 1,25 comma 25 we multiply that by 0 comma 1 in fact it's 1 comma 25 times 0 comma 1 what do we then get we have the answer as 0 comma 1 two, five. so meaning that we can see that here we have 0 comma 1 two, five. t is the same as 0 comma 1 two, Five minus it's gonna be plus now one comma one comma eight. So we can just add that. We have plus one comma eight. And therefore, what do we do now? We go to our calculator, we add the two, which will give us what will give us the, the tension. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say zero. In fact, we can restart zero comma one two five times one comma eight we don't times there but we add zero comma one two five zero comma one two five plus one comma eight what do we then get there we have our answer as one comma nine two five so we know that our answer is one comma nine two five don't forget the unit measurement for tension is a force is going to be newtons. Let us now look at 2.3.2. Now 2.3.2, we are calculating the angle. Now we should remember which angle we're looking for here. If we look at our diagram, you'll realize that we were given a force but without a what? Without an angle. So we must calculate this angle. So you must always resolve into what here? Into components. We have two components. We have the Fx and the Fy. Now Fx is F cos theta. Fy is F sine theta. And therefore now we go to our question and see whether we can get our answer now. Because we have resolved into what? Into components. Where do we start then? We must look at Newton's second law, which is what? It's F net equal to what equal to ma how many forces are acting on that block if i were to draw a free body diagram of that block i will still have fg i will still have this side i have what fk and therefore on the same side as well i have what i have tension and therefore i also have normal force and then this side now i have what the force that is applied which I have resolved into what? Into components. Fy and what? And Fx. So now I have three forces that are acting on this block because N and this one will never be used in our equation. So let us look at this. We have what? We have Fx, which is going to the right, plus minus T, plus minus Fk, which always opposes the motion, and therefore we have what here? We have MA. 
What is fx? The same as f cos theta minus t, we have minus fk equal to ma. We now have values. This f was given as 7,5 cos, we don't know the angle, minus the t is what we have calculated before, which was 1,9,9,25 minus the fk was given as well this fk was given as what as 2,2 .2 equal to the mass is given as well which is what it was 2 the crate was of 2 and then acceleration is 0, 0,1 from here you just use your calculator you just use a calculator and therefore you will get your your answer how do we then calculate this question we are going to start with 7,5, 7,5, which is what is cos theta, so we can't get anything. But what is minus, 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 minus 1,925 minus 2,2. What do we then get there? We have minus 4,1. So this is 7. 7,5 cos theta, 7,5 cos theta, we have 7,5 cos theta, which will be minus the answer we just calculated now, which was 4,125. So it is 4,125, which will be equal to and then we go to our calculator now. We need to check how we can get the answer this side. So we can move our calculator to this side. We have what? We have 2, two times 0, 0,1. What do we get here? We get 0, 0,2. So we have 0, 0,2. And then now what do we do then? We then move to say if I add 0, comma 2 plus 4 comma 1 to 5 um, we can do that on our calculator to check what answer we're going to get so what are we adding now we are adding we are adding um, what are we adding now we are now adding 0 comma 2 and 4 comma 1 to 5 so 0 comma 2 in fact it is 0 comma 2 plus 4,125, which will give me, uh, we have this side, 4,325. So it's 4,325. And then on our left-hand side, we had 75, or 7,5 rather, cos what? Cos theta. Okay. We divide both sides by what? By 7,5. So let's divide this by 7,5 here. We have what again here? 7,5. We can try it in our calculator here. So what do we have there? We have 4,325. We're dividing by what? By 7,5. The answer we are going to get there is 0. So we have 0, 0,57666. So it's 0, 0,57 and 6 this side. So what you're supposed to do here, because you have cos theta, cos theta, you can press shift. If you press shift, and then you press your answer, which was 0, 0,5766. So it's shift, it's cos, you insert your answer, and therefore it will give you 0, comma. so our angle there is 54, comma, 7, 4, which will be degrees there. So don't forget when you come to this part here, you press shift, cos, and then answer because you have your answer is 0, 0,5766, and therefore you say equals to, it is going to give you what? 54,74 degrees. That's how we get our angle here. All right, grade 12, so this is how you should answer question 2. And definitely, if you answer it like this, you are going to get full marks in the exam.